Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for July. So this could happen at any time in July. Uh, thank you for your patience. Things have uh, been very hectic. So thank you for your patience. Timing is everything, right? So crown. We've, this just fell out of the deck. Crown. Honor and respect will come to you, Libra. So you're going to be getting some sort of honor and respect. You're wearing some sort of crown. You, If you're not, you should be. We just had four more fall out. So that equals five. Fives are about changes, right? Fives are about choices and changes. It's major life choices. Um, personal freedom. So let's see what else we got. What else we have? Okay. So I, psychic ability. So you have a strong psychic ability at this time. Cain, pay attention to your health. Kite, vacation. Perhaps it's time for a vacation. Maybe you go on vacation and you need to really pay attention to your health. Maybe you need a vacation to, you know, deal with your health. Sometimes just taking a vacation, you know, can um, help you to relax. But the ticket is, is when you go on vacation to relax, okay? Um, vacation is what you need. Balance. Now, if that's not your card, I do not know what is. Here is the scales. So this is the scales that, you know, bring balance to your life. You obviously need to be to bring balance to your life. There's also probably something to do with justice here, right? Um, these are the scales of balance. Keep your life in balance. So you're going to be needing to keep it. Maybe you're working too much or you're... You're spending too much time alone, or there's something that you need to rebalance. Okay, you need you need the best of both worlds in a certain situation. Um, your health is being affected in some way. That's something that you need to deal with. You know what's going on. You have your intuition is telling you what you need to balance. So listen to that. Um, honor and respect is coming to you as well. So that's good. So what do we have for Libra? Skilled player. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with a skilled player, somebody that, you know, wears a poker face and you you know they may be bluffing you. You may need to bluff them right back. You know, I feel like you're definitely dealing with a skilled player. Um mm. Beware, beware, because what I want to say is poker face. I want to say poker face, you know, and I don't, and I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is putting on a poker face. Let's get one more of these for you. Oh, this is a good one. You ready for it? Wish granted. So there, this is, you know, when you blow on the dandelion and you make a wish, it may take some time for it to come to fruition, but there is some sort of wish that is being granted. I gotta show you what's on the bottom because I feel like it's very, very prominent for you. Just give them a chance. There's somebody that you need to give a chance. I did put this skilled player, which is interesting, in the in the past position. I never know where I'm going to put the cards. I just go with my gut, which is what you should do as well. Anyway, so the skilled player could be somebody in the past. You may need to call this person's bluff, whoever this person is in the past. I put wish granted way over here in the future. 
I could have put it over there, but I didn't. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just happened to notice now where I put it. So I believe that you are going to have a wish granted. I feel like this is something you've been you you've uh, wished for for some time. Sometimes the universe will w uh, grant your wish in a way that you do not expect. It may not be exactly as you envisioned it, but they hear your prayers and they will grant your wish in another way. This is right next to the crown card. Honor and respect will come to you. Maybe it has to do with this wish being granted and somebody that you need to give a chance to. There is somebody that you need to give a chance to. Um, you know who this, I feel like you know who this person is already. Um, let's get one of these. What do we have for Libra? What do we have? You know, I see the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is... You know, love, an offer love, flirting, a crush, an admirer. You may be beginning something new with somebody. Um, messages of love, flirting, that kind of thing. Um, could also be welcome news. May have something to do with a child if you're already in a relationship. Page of Cups brings welcome, unexpected and welcome news. Good news, okay? Eight of Wands, sold. Something is, you know, it's time for you to uh, embark on something new by the looks of things. You're going to be receiving messages. You're going to be receiving information that really, really makes you happy. This is increase. This is some sort of increase, increase of communication. Maybe you need to increase some communication with somebody or somebody is going to be stepping it up a notch with you. There could be some movement here. Somebody could be moving. Um, whatever this is, this is positive news. Is it, it is exciting. It's good news. You're going to receive something that really makes you happy by the looks of things. Very, very positive. Positive movement forward. There's going to be increased uh, momentum, put it that way. Sold can mean so many things. It feels like um, something is coming to fruition that you have been wishing for. Four of Pentacles reverse that just fell out. This is uh, opening up. It's the end of stagnation. It is. It's time to relax. Uh, let go of something. It's underneath the skilled player, of course. Knight of Pentacles. Here's a golden opportunity. So you do have a golden opportunity that is coming to you. You may be laying a new foundation somewhere. There's somebody coming around you or that is making you an offer. This is real. It is stable. It is solid. This is um, this person um, has something big to give you. Somebody is making you a big offer. You may need to open your heart, follow your heart. This could be the other person as well. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, this is somebody that does have a big heart, that is looking for love, looking for a relationship that is emotionally centered or something like that. There is somebody around you that is going to be, you know, pursuing you with something real, something solid. The Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody that is a planner that... Um, you know, comes with something of value. They may see some something in of value in you as well. Being loved and cared for. You know, I think that there's somebody here that, that cares for you. That really, really cares for you. Nine of Pentacles in the past. So that is independent. It is self-sufficient, doing your own thing, enjoying life. Seven of Swords reversed. 
Six of Swords reverse. We got somebody here that is stuck. They're stuck. They're stuck in a troubled situation. They're refusing to take a new approach, needing to move on. Very, very troubled. We have somebody here that is troubled, refusing to move on from something, cheating themselves, you know, choosing to be single, choosing to be alone. Somebody is cheating themselves. Okay, I gotta be, I gotta show you this. I do, I just have to. Okay, I just wanna get it. So it's exactly how it's laid out. So we got the nine of, of pentacles. That is an independent person doing their own thing, enjoying their life, focusing on themselves, not really interested, cheating, seven of swords. That's cheating, self-deception, um, trying to outsmart. You know, this is also outdated thinking, the seven of swords reversed. Um, cheating themselves because the nine of pentacles is about self so somebody is cheating themselves by not moving on from something it's time to move on from something so un, un <laughs> you need to open your heart you're highly intuitive at this time okay so keep that in mind um there is somebody around you that can take care of you You need to let go with the Four of Pentacles. It's a stubbornness here. There's a lot of stubbornness holding on to something that you shouldn't, you don't need to hold on to it anymore. Maybe you've been protecting yourself because self is here. Self is definitely here, but that self card is in the past, okay? Not that you're not going to stop focusing on yourself. Hangman reversed. Open up. Stop hanging on. You're wasting time sacrificing yourself. A new perspective is needed. You may be gaining a new perspective. You may be slowly moving in a new direction. Maybe you've learned your value through somebody that played you. There's self-worth here with the Nine of Pentacles. And then I said, learned your value because I was looking at the Knight of Pentacles. You know, there's self-value, self-worth. I feel like you are, are, are letting go of somebody that didn't see your value. This person was a player, a skilled player by the looks of things. Hang me, a new perspective is needed. You, you're struggling, struggling to let go, struggling, protecting yourself stubborn extremely stubborn we have the four of pentacles reversed the nine of pentacles and the hangman reversed in the same lineup the hangman and the four of pentacles are both stubbornness stubbornly and both the hangman and the four of pentacles are about hanging on i'll put it this way but it did come they're both about hanging on you need and this is let go Okay, and, and this is let go. Both re You need to let go. You need to let go of something. You have a lot to offer. This is, this is, you, you do. Magician. Yes. Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini because when I was shuffling at the beginning, uh, I before I got out any of these cards, I, I almost said Gemini a couple times. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini, but this is a Gemini. This is a yes answer. Be willing to shed the old, bring in the new. Ask and you shall receive as above, so below. This is where your wish gets granted. I feel like you have manifested something. The, the Knight of Pentacles is about manifestation as well. This is also a doer though. This is taking action to bring success. You know, I feel like you need to take action. I feel like you're in a position of power. You have some sort of divine connection. You have the ability to get exactly what you want. But with the Magician card, you have to be willing. You have to be willing to try new things. You do. If you think about a magician that's putting on a show, it's 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 evolution. It's always a, the show is always changing, you know. So that you know, you if you want to be that magician, you want success. You're gonna have to, you know, be up with it. You're gonna have to be able to evolve and to uh, change things up. 
Okay, you have the skills to, to be successful, but you have to be willing. You have to be willing to shed your old ways and learn new things and do new things to have that success. So I feel, feel like you guys have been cheating yourselves of some sort of emotional fulfillment because you've been reluctant to move on from something. And I don't know if it's an ex. Um, I feel like for some of you it is an ex. Some of you may need to move. You may be considering moving. The Eight of Wands, that house is sold in that card. You know, so I don't know if this is a big move, a big move that is in the future. There could be. But there's something that you are hanging on to that you need to let go of. You need to be practical. You need to be reasonable with the Knight of Pentacles. You need to uh, ground yourself, perhaps. Don't cheat yourself of success because you have all the resources and all the tools to get exactly what you want, but it may not be how you envisioned it. You know, sometimes the universe, you know, rejection is God's protection. Um, one more card. Yes, you are receiving a golden opportunity. This is exactly what you asked for. But it may, I don't, I don't feel like it's what you envisioned. Ooh. Oh. Two of Cups reversed and the Tower reversed. And on the bottom of the deck, the Seven of Pentacles. This is about relocation. It, the seeds, the season is over. It's time to plant your seeds someplace else. There's no more fertility here. Okay? I feel like you've been holding on to a false partnership, a false sense of security, something that is not compatible or it's no more. This is a breakup. It is a separation. There's something going on here. Okay. There absolutely is. Tower reverse, permanent loss of a partnership, um, a need to relocate. Something about relocation here. Somebody may be relocating They're in a partnership that isn't stable. The, the Two of Cups next to the Tower reverse. That is a partnership. My ear is ringing. That's a yes answer. The Magician is right next to the Tower as well. That's a yes. Yes. So anyway, Libra, I feel like you have to separate. You have to be honest with yourself. The middle card is a Seven of Swords reversed. You maybe need to beat them at their own game. There is somebody that is deceiving you, that is playing you, and you need to take control. You do. I feel like you need to uh, take your power back. You need to uh, do whatever it takes to remove yourself from this false sense of security. Some of you, it has to do with a home. or a foundation that is no more. Maybe the tower has already fallen. You know, it's already fallen and, and it's time to, I mean, we have moving a lot. The tower, the six of swords reverse on the eight of wands. We have a house being sold. The seven of pentacles is about relocation. Um, letting, it's something about relocating. You know, maybe, maybe there's somebody that is holding you back and you're reluctant to, there is reluctance with the six of swords reverse. You're reluctant to leave a partnership, but your heart, wants love right there's love there's love you want love you want a relationship you want to be loved and there's somebody i think there's somebody in your past that has control over you in some way you need to know your value you need to know your worth anyway some of you um need to take a new approach you do you need a new perspective you need to stop hanging on i do think there is somebody around here around you that has a very 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 big heart this person um, can help you to move on they can help you if you can allow it if you can um take a chance didn't we have that card just give them a chance there's somebody that wants you to give them a chance or that you need to give a chance maybe you need to go on maybe you meet this person on travel or you travel to this person um there is love here there is love here in your future that is in the future it's something that is emotionally fulfilling but if you keep staying put in this situation where you have been cheated and you have been lying to yourself and 
you know, if you choose to be single, you know, letting this person that control you, there's somebody here that is in your energy that you keep allowing to have control over you. This person has a big ego. The ego, they know that they have control over you. Some of you are definitely going to be moving. Could be very suddenly. Maybe, maybe you go on vacation and you meet somebody or something like that. It feels like... Uh, It's action time with that magician card. This is what you asked for. You're dealing with somebody that is very real. This person is solid. And it's like you're, you're choosing not to see it because you're, you don't want change. False partnership, tower next to the two of cups. No unity, lack of unity, very troubled partnership. Somebody is dealing with a person in their life that lies to them a lot with the seven of swords reversed and this skilled player. It'll be a man or a woman. This woman plays, or if it, if it is a woman, this woman plays on emotions. We definitely, I don't know if some of you are dealing with a Pisces as well. We have somebody here that is very um, emotionally, I feel like there's some sort of emotional manipulation here. It could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I don't know if somebody is manipulating you or the, whoever we're talking about. But emotionally, there's emotional manipulation here. Stopping somebody. Somebody is, is it's emotional manipulation they're stopping somebody from um having success in their lives false partnership there's a need to be grounded and lay a new foundation someplace else there's going to be some sort of major upheaval that has to do with some sort of partnership that is going to shock you. Okay, this is extreme. It is extreme when you get the tower reverse. I know that other readers are gonna say it's an avoidance. It's not. Card wouldn't be here if you were avoiding it, as far as I'm concerned. But there's falseness that is spread everywhere, so whatever. Anyhow, um, tower reverse, that's extreme. This is a painful loss. This is unexpected change, forced forced force maybe you're forced maybe you're forced to move on from something that's uh, above the tower reverse is a six of swords reverse but but reluctant maybe you've been praying and wishing for love you know and and, and somebody has been holding you back somebody has been holding you back Choosing to be single. Somebody may be choosing to be single. You could be some we could have somebody here that is choose this is a breakup. Somebody may be choosing to be single. They're breaking free. They're breaking free from a partnership that they have been holding on to for all the wrong reasons. And slowly traveling in a new direction. Take your time. Baby steps if you have to. Stop cheating yourself of emotional fulfillment. Pay attention to your health. That's why that card is here. Some of you, some of you may need help. You may need to accept help. You may I feel like there's somebody here that can help you. They can help you to heal. Maybe you got a healer around you. I feel like you need to be practical, but you also need to be fluid, you know, because of the Knight of Pentacles next to the Queen of Cups. You need to be, you know, uh, able to accept change. 
letting go of something you have been holding on to, knowing your value, struggling to let go, wasted a lot of time, sacrificing yourself needlessly by hanging on, cheating yourself of emotional fulfillment, reluctant to go, Honor and respect will come to you when you know your value and you take action in the direction that you want to go in. There's definitely a breakup here. Or a, and it doesn't and I don't know who it is it could be doesn't mean it could be somebody that is in your arena okay it could be between your parents it could be between you and whoever it is you've been hanging on to it could be between you and a friend we have a we have a separation here we do I mean I can't make it up this is some sort of separation breakup uh, fighting with the tower right there troubled we have trouble we do have some trouble we have a partnership that is in trouble that is right here because there's falseness this is extremely false extremely reversals are extremes one more card what do we have for Libra? Major disruption, probably on the home front. You know, maybe it's time for a move. Maybe it's time to move, go someplace else. Relocation, is it worth investing in something that isn't growing? That was the Seven of Pentacles. Is it worth it? If there's no growth, if there's no fertility there and it's dead, if you aren't going to get anything else, we, why you can't water a dead tree and expect it to come back to life. One more card. Three of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you've got a third party situation here, a hermit or a hair font in the on the bottom in reverse. There's relationship problems here. We had, could have a broken commitment, a broken marriage. Um, we have somebody here that is having a hard time doing the right thing. They are controlled by a father figure or controlled by society. Somebody that is socially driven that cannot do the right thing. Could have something to do with a father. I'm not sure. Um, not very spiritual. We have a relationship that is not on the same page, especially with the Three of Pentacles reverse right next to the Two of Cups reverse. There's a partnership where there's no togetherness. There's no compatibility. There's a lack of mutual respect. There's no teamwork. And it's because there's a third party. There's a meddler here. Let it go. You, you, you need to, you deserve to be loved. You're going to be dealing with some trouble. There's, there's, there's trouble ahead, I believe. There's some sort of trouble ahead. And I don't know if it's... This, this could be with a family member. Be prepared for some trouble because there is trouble ahead. And you're going to need to uh, let somebody go that is in your life that is causing trouble for you. This person lacks respect for others, okay? Whoever this person is. You're on your own. I feel like there's some sort of abuse here. It may have something to do with a, I don't know, I think it has to do with a, with a father or a commitment or... Major uproar. You're dealing with somebody that is very, very troubled. You got to go. You need balance in your life, remember? Good luck.